be calling you a radical. I want people to understand that the Million Mass March, Occupy Wall Street, the Post Ignorance Project was all started on anti-imperialism. It's all on anti-corruption. What's the most, what's the top of the heap imperialism? Nuclear energy. There's nothing more imperialistic as the grassroots anti-imperialist movement. Of course, you're, you're going to get nothing on the media because who's the greatest imperialist there are? The media. And then alternative media, the wannabe imperialist. I mean, they're pathetically fucking stupid. So let's talk DOE, the Department of Energy, which is the greatest terrorist organization in the world. Now, stay with me. If you don't believe the Department of Energy in the United States is a terrorist organization, let's get real. Fukushima, Fukushima, Fukushima. If you don't believe nuclear energy is a, is pure terror, fuck Hello, Fukushima, Three Mile Island, Santa Susana, fucking, I don't know, I mean, I don't fucking, it's so insane in Idaho, you know, they're all gung-ho about killing wolves who are natural, fucking, you know, for cows, they think cows are natural, ha, becomes as natural as occupying a bird refuge. So stay with me on Department of Energy. So Hanford has been cyber attacked, now this is important, these are the, again, terror, these people are dying because they've been contaminated at Hanford. They're following their claims with the Department of Energy. And good luck to you, because I've went through this process so many times with my dad. My dad was human lab rat in Nevada test site and murdered and fucking Marine. We never, Air Blast wanted to, never got a penny. Good luck to you. So, what? There's 550 workers that have fucking filed federal claims for being, they're dying from being poisoned at Hanford recently. Someone hacks in and blocks their whole claim process. Now, who the fuck would do that? Department of Energy. So, the Biden-Harris DOE has named their new board. Now, I've went through every one of these guys. I'll list it. One of them is a nuclear fuel cycle PhD. Okay, if she's a nuclear fuel cycle PhD, she has to know what I know. That the Moxville fairy tale at Savannah River, Georgia is just that. Chicago Bridge and Ryan Arriva, the global fairy tale that somehow the fucking fuel cycle that you could revit it. Revit's a fucking lie and a fairy tale. Coming right out of Allison McFarland's fucking mouth. Former head of the NRC. And by the way, next fucker that shows me fuck Gregory Jacko's an anti nuker can kiss my ass. Gregory Jacko was in the situation room and he cowered down like a fucking little bitch. Fuck him. And so, stay with me. Who would hack that? Department of Energy. Terrorist? They're the terrorist. So I want to talk about Bafford and the cheating in Kentucky. Paducah, there's nuclear waste in Paducah. Oh, that's mothball. No, it's not. That's where it all started, Paducah, Kentucky. So in gambling world, Bafford's got a problem. I'll tell you, he's got a big problem because of the gamblers. Now, do you know what a bridge jumper is? A bridge jumper is somebody who bets a giant amount of money on to show, on a favorite. Because by law, you have to pay out X amount of money. $2.10. Now, you do know a guy bet $4.5 million on the favorite in the Derby. Now, did he bet it all the win or did he bet some fucking show money? If he bets some show money, Bob Baffert's got a fucking big problem. And I've said this for a year. So it'll be a matter of time till some gamblers and bettors. Now, <laughs> in Kentucky, the, the guy who trained the real winner at 26 to 1 is, you know... Kentucky. Bafford fucked all those people that bet that horse. He's gonna get he's been cheating for you, but that's what this country is. This country that's why it's so important the post ignorance project, which was started before Occupy, which turned into Occupy, which turned into the Million Mass March, which now, now honestly I want you to sit back and think about all the blood and sweat pain by grassroots activists. And three women are going to sit around and just hashtag a word. And they're going to become Time Magazine People of the Year. They're going to become celebrities. They're going to become the greatest activists. Now, think about this. So, apparently, to be an activist, you just got to be a keyboard. You just got to hashtag a word. You know how fucking pathetic... I mean, you think about how pathetic that is. <laughs> Fuck. It's unbelievable. So, who fucking hack the workers at Hanford and block their claiming pride? Who would fucking do that? Department of Energy. And there was never a worse Department of Energy than the Trump administration. You know, Rick Perry, let's make it sexy again. 
all over. So she's a PhD. She's fucking got credentials out the yin yang. Fucking <laughs> yeah. So do I. So do I. Black ball me. <laughs> Who's the more important, fucking her or Kevin Blanche? Has the real PhD. Fukushima. 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 Uh, it's important for you activists to understand the anti-imperialist movement. The top of the heap is nuclear. It's where all the power. What do you think the likes of Bill Gates, the likes of Jeffrey Bezos, the likes of all of them? That's where they come from. You know. Wake the fuck up. The department. So Jennifer Graham Holm, who apparently was born in the Bay Area, fucking Dana Nasana told me that. Yeah, the good Michigan. Cal Berkeley, of course. <laughs> fuck. I was I went to Berkeley for a little while. Comes out and makes a statement in the subcommittee, word for word, Rick Perry's DOE, that we somehow need nuclear energy clean. It's the dirtiest, filthiest fucking So all you anti parallel that's what all these movements are. Yo, Kevin Blanche, the top of the heap. When are you gonna wake up and realize it's all nuclear energy? Remember we were leading up for the hundredth anniversary of the shirt waste fire, but Fukushima happened two weeks earlier than that. And I went all in, rightfully so. Not to mention getting cancer fighting for my life, but let's get real. Who's the terror? The Department of Energy is the terrorist organization. The subsidy that goes to them, you take the other 12 energies that are subsidized in the United States government, times it by 12, times it by 12 again, you know, M squared on Balco, you still won't get to their subsidies. Price Anderson, that congressional bill that there's no immunity. Little nuke reactors that the nuclear pork just flies like fucking like a you know guy fucking applying for a government stimulus small business loan that just rips it off. All ripped off. The fucking bellouts of twenty twenty and twenty twenty they're the biggest scam in the fucking history besides nuclear energy ever. Everybody just shammed it. It was supposed to be for employee, they just stole it. And there's ruin there's no accountability in the country. It's a country of fucking nothing but looting and lying cheaters. You steal a billion, you pay back a million. That's corporatist. You think about the Oxycontin fucking sham. All these shams. One after a fucking another. One after another. You steal a billion, you pay back a million. I mean, Baffert's been cheating for fucking years. Why now? Because of grassroots activists in fucking Louisville. You don't think it ties into Breonna Taylor? Oh, it does. People are fucking, I mean, the grassroots activists who do all the dirty work, you don't even know who they are. You know? No, I, some women are just going to fucking go, tss, tss, tss. oh, I got a word. By the way, I posted Black Lives Matters that word fucking as far as a hashtag word fucking in 20 fucking 12. And they, they didn't do it till 2013. Was, Black Lives Matter was started after the death of a girl right here. Right over there, Matthew Stewart, the no-knock. That was January 5th, 2012. A cop was killed in that raid by another cop. You know, they steal it all. That's what they've done. Well, welcome to America, right? Bill Gates never invented anything. He stole it right here off this campus. We're fucking perfect and was invented here, the operating system. Go ask fucking David O. McKay's fucking grandson. Fawn McKay Brody's fucking nephew invented it. Yeah, Fawn, her. <laughs> Fuck, don't mention the fucking name. So, who's the terrorist organization? Who would do this at Hanford? I filed paperwork after paperwork for my dad for years. Murdered him. They fucking nuked him in the Nevada test. I murdered him. Then I have ammo. You know there was, I fought hard for federal funding to fund studies on the children of the atomic veterans. My first PhD I was working on was the children of the atomic vets. I proved right here at the University of Nuclearism that the children of the atomic veterans are dying at fucking alarming rates in, at 40 and 50 and 30 years old. Born with all kinds of fucking, I was born with incredible birth defects. You know, my failed work of vibe, I just had open heart surgery. Kick off Medicaid, no fucking, I get no fucking assistance. No, never got no fucking stimulus check. I never gotten anything, because I'm a cancer victim. Cancer survivors are the most abused people in the fucking world. Ask Mike Lee, who kicked me off Medicaid, why is in a bone marrow transplant? But he's a Christian. Just fucking ask. So, the Department of Energy, which is a terrorist organization, a, by definition, just look up the word terror. They're a terrorist organization. Look at this crazy fucking. Fuck, I just ought to learn how to fucking drive around. Get in your cattle chute, Kevin. Get in the cattle chute. 
fuck? What the fuck are they doing here now? Come on, get in your cattle chute. Go take a shower. Fucking green, clean, too cheap to murder. So Biden has named his new DOE team. Now you go through these people. We'll see, right? Kamala Harris's mother, the epidemiologist at Livermore, broke rank. She studied cancer rates, just what I said. That's what she did for a living at Livermore. She died of cancer. Bo Biden died from nuclear energy. They sprayed white phosphorus, nuclear energy, nuclear energy, all over Fallujah. And fucking, he died of, that's what it does. They carpet bomb in Fallujah, he was there. They all die. They staged the troops at the Polygon nuclear reactor. All these troops are coming home. We screamed and yelled when they were going in. I was a peace activist, a big one then. We screamed, you stupid fuckers are gonna stage you at the fucking Polygon, the Russian, to go into Afghanistan. Went off Afghanistan to kill the Taliban. Went off to Iraq to get a big old sack. Went off to Vietnam to kill the Viet Cong. How nice is invented ISIS? Boogeyman. Fucking the military industrialist, globalist, fucking imperialist. The United States turned into nothing but imperialism. 1945 to 79, we were socialists. Fucking, we fought back. No bloodlines, no inherit, no monarchy is. They got it all. And who's going to report anything? The imperialist? Thomas Jefferson. Without the fourth pillar, we have nothing. It was against the law for a foreign born or a foreigner to sit on the board of directors of a major media source in this country. It was against the law for 200 years. It's a fact, yeah. Now they're all, look them up, they're all British. How'd they do it? One of my just turned two by cable TV. Well, and the British royal family's not pretty. They're the same fucking Jeff Bezos, fucking Elon Musk, fucking. Don't you think it's irony? That JeffBezos.com never was profitable. Never was profitable. Never went bankrupt, did yeah. they? CIA! CIA! Imperialists. Edward Snowden. I got to the top of the CIA. I had full top clearance. I got in there and I found there's another top level to the top level. At the top of the pyramid. Well, who are they? Global oligarchs. As he's sitting next to a global... I asked on Greenwald right here at the campus at the University of Utah. What about... I asked him to his face. How come... Your chip, why would you hand it to Laura? She's the MIT endowment's daughter. Billionaires who covered up, who killed Aaron Swartz. MIT, Media Lab, why would you hang it to the very people you stole it from? It's no job. Well, when he showed up on 60 Minutes, my red flag went up. <laughs> took Kevin Blanche, it took Lake Barrett fucking 3,000 days to tell you on 60 Minutes what Kevin Blanche told you in one hour, on, right sitting right here on March 12th at the University of Nuclear is a black ball me, a black ball you. The DOE is a terrorist organization by definition. By definition. Who would hack and block these guys? Again, anything to protect the nuclear energy crime syndicate at all costs. Everybody's in. Anderson Vanderbilt Cooper, the public be damned grandson, fucking as at Fukushima, Japan. He's there. I can't overstate that. Him and Sanjay Gupta are practicing MD. They're there. They're there screaming, nuclear meltdown, nuclear meltdown, nuclear meltdown. Panic, panic. Well, the wind was blowing out over us. Barack Obama, I want you to know what I know. The greatest lie that was ever told in the history of mankind. The plume is coming over us right now, but scientists tell us it is not fucking dangerous, whatever. But we're going to keep you abreast. We're going to let you know what we know. He never mentioned Fukushima again. He was flown out of the country with G. No, that's the water school of business, the G that I... I sit right here on this bench and announce to the fucking world. Right here. Or 10 years ago, 3,700 some fucking days ago. Is it possible they could cover this up? All my work, I hypothesize it's going to release an energy in these cores. So Chernobyl's reporting that it's like, uh, like your barbecue pit. The embers are smoldering. They're getting hotter in Chernobyl. Yeah, they entombed it, but they can't get it out. It won't be out for millions of years. They're sons. Fucking green star power to earth, Livermore, California, Camelot, like Harris. There's six of them burled into the Pacific Ocean. The sun can give you cancer from 93 million miles away. These sons are 6,500 miles away from California. So what do you think the fires are? All hypothesized by chemists can wipe out the type. I do the type of work. I get cancer while well, I'm sick. I'm attacked viciously. Fucking, those are felonies to attack somebody in critical condition full of cancer, which they did to me. 
you know, these PR firms, the United States Department of Energy, it's unarguable connecting the dots. He went after, these guys were all paid. This guy in LA, there was a group, we tracked him down. The FBI knows all this. But again, the Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate, AKA the untouchables, they're the untouchables. You can't touch them with a 10 foot pole. So, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, literally. I fear no fucking evil. For he guides me. He lays me down on the fucking burned out fucking grasses of Gorda, California. Next to the calm Pacific. The dead titles. He guides me. He comforts me. The angels you mass murder. They watch out over me. They've always watched out over me. You know, I have ML De Nuvo OS for the marker of 44. That's 100% under survivable disease. 10 years later, I'm 11 kicking. You know, almost 10 years later. So don't get ahead of yourself. So, the DOE is a terrorist organization by definition. Hello. We're going to perpetuate the slide. There's no fucking answer for the fucking fuel cycle. There is no fuel cycle. Just pile it up all over. What about centerpiece passage? What about uranium mines? Really, as an anti nuclear activist, you really need to know one word. One word. And I have multiple fucking degrees. I have a fucking education that will blow your fucking mind. Broad, diverse, biology, finance, art, fucking number one school business in the fucking country I graduated from. And top there. Number one in the country. You can beat Warden. One word is all you need to know. All of you. you any argument you have, Typhoon's dead. And they all died in acute fashion. When they tell you it's climate change, well, climate change is happening, nuclear is climate change. When they tell you this is all fucking been going on for years, plastic in the ocean going, yeah, yeah, of course that's a contributing factor, but this, we had record returns in the salmon on 2015, record. The salmon will collapse 95% in five years. They go to sea for five years. This year, so. The tide pools acutely, radically collapse. Jedi Smith has no dams. They've collapsed 99%. The ocean's fucking acutely, hell avoid a blanch an ocean. Hell avoid a blanch an ocean. So when they tell you that, no, it all be dumb because in science, mystified, baffled, puzzled, stumped, perplexed, bewildered, fucking curious, alarmed, I don't know, doesn't cut it. Real science is what Kevin Blanch has done. First you hypothesize the knowledge, zero line, they're gonna push this into the fucking ocean, it's gonna boil the fucking ocean. It's gonna blanch it. It's gonna put a heat bubble over the western United States, Great Salt Lake's gonna go fucking dry. It's going to fucking cause fire. It's going to get into the pine trees. They're going to hold the radiation. We're going to get fucking fires. We're going to get plutonium fires all over. It's going to be fucking devastating. Cancer rates are going to soar. Fucking Pacific Ocean is going to collapse the Great Pacific Genocide. You do fucking... I did 10 years of field work. Then you defend your work. Against this tsunami of ignorance. Against this fucking Department of Energy. This terrorist organization. The terrorist organization. And I guess that Biden... You know, no respect for his son. Oh, look at Barry Antoinette Obama, his mama fucking downwinder. No respect for her. You know, Kamala, mom, I know. Kamala Harris fucking was paramount on the shutdown of fucking Santa Monica. Open your fucking mouth. You know, we'll see. We had a discussion in Hawaii, this kid from Hawaii yesterday. And I'm like, well, you do know your senior senator in Hawaii was born and raised, and she's a cancer survivor, in Fukushima, Japan. No. Yeah, you're from Hawaii? You know, yeah, Sean Ray is here. He's of Asian descent, our attorney general, who says, bring the SMRs here, the Reyes connection. Yeah, he's related to that fucking madman in the fucking, another Berkeley dude in the Philippines. So Jennifer Granholm repeats word for word of what Rick Perry said. So we're going to go along with this, siding with Biden. We're going to keep the fucking... Greatest lie in human history fucking going called nuclear energy? <laughs> Hell way to blanch a fucking ocean. The science building. Look at it now. All that's in there is a fucking Starbucks. I was mentored in science here by the likes of Dr. Winters. Fucking this is all genius. Fucking when I was young, I started this university at 16 years old. I'm 61. 61. I'm still at it. So... Want to compare my fucking credentials? Well, I do the field work. You're fucking, they hand up PhDs like fucking toilet paper. No, I earned mine. I've earned mine. Then some. Then some. Play back the tape, Your Honor. Fucking.
Department of Energy is a terrorist organization. Oh, it's way past midnight. Stay in tune.